Hello, hi, greetings, royal enthusiasts, and welcome back to our channel where we delve deep into the world of monarchy mayhem. Today, we are diving headfirst into the swirling sea of scandals surrounding Prince William and Kate Middleton, our haters to Harry and Meghan. But before we plague into the depths of royal intrigue, let's take a moment to revisit Step Colbert's latest antics on the, la on the, late the latest show of him. Yes, you heard that right. Colbert, uh, Colbert is back at it, donning his detective hat and digging and digging into the juicy gossip surrounding the royal couple. So grab your favorite royal themed mug and settle in because we are about to embark on a journey filled with drama, humor, and healthy dose of skepticism. So, before going on, uh, let me give you a clip of Colbert talking about William and mocking at them. So, just a minute and sit back and listen to this. Something for those of you who are royal watchers, and I know you are, Lewis. I am. I'm afraid I've got some troubling news about England's royal family. Um, I know this is your life's passion, Lewis, and I'm sorry. <laughs> As we were talking about on this show yesterday, the kingdom has been all flutter by the seeming disappearance of Kate Middleton. Well, now internet sleuths are guessing that Kate's absence may be related to her husband and the future King of England, William, having an affair. <gasps> oh no, my heart goes out to poor Kate. Now let's dish the hot goss. I am ready to spill the tea, literally. Fabrizio, bring it out. There you go. Thank you, Fabrizio. Thank you very much. Thank you. You may go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Not going to share the stage with someone that handsome. <laughs> so, I think we all know who the alleged other woman is. Say it with me. The Marchioness of Chalmondele. <laughs> what a beautiful name that I'm being told right now that I pronounced incorrectly. It is, in fact, pronounced... Chumley. <laughs> Counterpoint. No, it's not. <laughs> Learn English, England. Now, there have been rumors of an affair between William and the marching band of chicanery since <laughs> 2019. According to tabloids back then, when Kate supposedly confronted him about it, he laughed it off, saying there was nothing to it. Aha, always a good response when your wife accuses you of cheating. <laughs> ha ha. Imagine me having an affair. It is to laugh. It reminds me of a jape. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, it's my illegitimate son. I've knocked up my mistress. The, the Marcus Mumford of Chubbawamba is an old friend of the royals, and she's married to a close friend of William's, David Rock Savage. Really? Rock Savage? That sounds less like a British noble and more like a musician from the Flintstones. Rock Savage. What? I'm oh, sorry. I'm being told it's actually pronounced Chumley. <laughs> you, uh, that is it, guys. This is Stephen Colbert. I wish you could always be watching his show. He's so funny, guy. So let's uh, get back to the story. It's so funny when William and uh, Kate are being mocked out there. So now let's cut to the chase. Stephen Colbert, the master of the satire and comedy, <laughs> recently turned attention. And that is it. How, how, how uh, Colbert is talking about William. This is so funny. So the master satire of comedy recently turned his attention to the royal family, Timulus Affairs, on a recent of this episode. So, Prince William and Kate Middleton are scandalous and speculation. <laughs> With his trademark wit and razor sharp humor, Colbert teased up the details of William's alleged affair with Rose Hanbury, whom he allegedly Colbert has told you guys. He delved deeper 
poking uh, like a f- uh, <laughs> you've really heard that he's been he's making fun at William Choice of companions including Hanbury husband David Rock Savage seriously Rock Savage sounds more like a character from the Flintstones that a British nobleman Colbert uh, quips had us in stitches as he di- dissected the absurdity of the situation with his signature comedic flair. On the royalty rift unveiled, but let's not forget the crux of the matter. The alleged affair itself and the ensuing fallout. The internet is buzzing with rumors suggesting that Kate's recent absence from the spotlight may be linked to some shady behavior on William's part. I had told you guys, this is recently what I had told you guys on the previous video. And, the, and while Colbert commentary provided a much needed dose of levity, the reality of the situation is far from the rumors. The whispers of infidelity continue to haunt William and Kate, casting a shadow over their seemingly picture-perfect marriage. They are just cheating on us. They are trying to tell us that everything is okay. On their love, uh, when they take pictures, when they like smiling to each other, but things on the back scene are much way different. Guys. Let me really tell you the truth, the guys. Everyone is really now suspecting and being uh, William is now being suspicious the Middleton family friend told us weekly how hurtful these rumors are to Kate especially considering the impact they could have on to their children even we don't believe we really don't know what's going on with the children nobody knows the media is hiding to us it's a heartbreaking situation made all more surreal by the relentless media scrutiny. On Colbert's impact and the media circus. Yet amidst the chaos, Colbert's comedic take on the royal drama and serves as a poignant reminder of the power of satire. In time of crisis, I love this. His witty commentary on the affair provides a much needed reprise from the relentless onslaught of tabloid headlines and gossip columns. But Colbert isn't the only one weighing in the scandal. The media circus surrounding William and Kate's alleged rift has reached fever, has also reached a fever pitch. With news outlets, and around the world, this dissecting ever rumor and speculation with fervent zeal. From the tabloids to talk show, everyone wants a piece of the royal pie. And as the speculation mounts, so too does the public vaccination with the inner working of the royal family. Everyone is funny and making fun to them. Everyone is now happy that they are being mocked. So the royal family responds. On, on that, where do William and Kate stand amidst the swirling sea of scandal? Despite attempts to downplay the speculation, the whispers and infidelity continue to plague the royal couple. The Middleton family, friend, so last weekly, how hurtful these rumors are to Kate, especially considering the impact they could have on their children. It's a heartbreaking situation made all, all the more surreal by the relentless media screen. As I conclude, the royal drama surrounding William and Kate and Colbert's commentary serves as a stark reminder of the complexities of life in the public eye. 
as we navigate through the murky waters of rumor and speculation, let's remember to approach the situation with empathy and understanding. And while Colbert's comedic take on the affair may provide a brief respite from the chaos, let's not lose on the human beings at the center of it all. Do you all believe that there is a, a divorce coming soon? I'm really also believing there is a divorce coming soon. It's, it's that uh, William isn't really don't uh, re William doesn't want to tell the people about this. Let them just peel and let them be separate so that Kate can have a sample time. But we really don't believe all this. So, until next time, Royal Watchers, stay always tuned to my Sussex Squadron. And always subscribe. Please subscribe, guys. Help me reach 10,000, guys. Just for my, oh, uh, so that I could always give you an update for all this. I love you all, guys. I would always want to give you every topic of this. So, stay tuned for more updates on the ever unfolding saga of the British monarchy. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.